Hello, welcome to this lesson on folders and subfolders. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to create folders and subfolders and why we need to do this. To begin, let's look at what a folder and a subfolder is. I shall begin by opening File Explorer so that we can see the folders which are on this computer. I'll go to my Documents folder and in there you will see there are several folders. This orange container titled Mathematics and this one titled Biology, this one titled My Stuff and this one titled Peak are what we call folders. If we go into one of these folders, Mathematics for instance, we'll notice that you can have other folders inside. I'll go further and open the folder titled Sets. Inside Sets, you can see that there are several files inside there. Now the purpose of having folders and subfolders is for us to organize our documents so that we can find them easily and so that our work is neat on our computer. Having clearly organized folders and subfolders allows us to find documents much quicker than if they're not organized. In this folder, titled My Stuff, the documents are not organized, so you'll find that there are lessons for mathematics, history, combined science, and various other subjects in the same place. It becomes much more difficult to find a specific lesson if they are organized in this way. Going back to our mathematics folder, you notice that there are two subfolders, and within each subfolder, there are documents that relate to the specific subheading, sets, and there we have lessons relating to sets. Similarly, in real numbers, we have lessons relating to real numbers. Now, let's get down to creating folders and subfolders. I'm going to close this window and we're going to start from scratch. To create a folder or a subfolder, you first need to open the File Explorer window. You can do that by clicking on the shortcut which you might find on your taskbar. If you do not have the shortcut on your taskbar, go to your Start button, click on it and scroll down to where you will find Windows Systems. Click on Windows System and then open File Explorer. From there, you will see your frequently opened folders and we want to create our folders in Documents. So I'm going to double click on Documents, which will take us to the place where we want to create a new folder. By right clicking in this clear space, a drop-down menu appears. In this drop-down menu, you will see the menu item titled New. Once you go to that menu item titled New, you will find various options, the top of which has Folder. If you click on that item, it creates a new folder, giving it the name New Folder. In this folder, I'm going to put content relating to Combined Science, so I'll name it Combined Science. That is how you create a folder. In order to create a subfolder in the Combined Science folder, you double click on that new folder which you have just created, and the process is the same. You right click on the clear space to display the drop down menu, go down to New, across to Folder, and click on that item. A new folder will be created and then we can give it an appropriate title, Lab Rules. Because we'll have several topics in Combined Science, we can have several subfolders within this folder, and I'm going to create another subfolder, which I'm going to title Biology.
Now that is how you create folders and subfolders. When you now create your documents, you can save them directly to these folders and subfolders which you have created. Now that we've completed this lesson on creating folders and subfolders, think about how you can organize your documents neatly using folders and subfolders so that your documents are not haphazardly placed throughout your computer.